All right, hello everybody. This is Nick from thearcadehunters.com. It is February 1st here in wonderful Lutz, Florida, and we are going to do the final walkthrough tour of the little shop of games at this current location. So uh, hopefully you guys don't think like, yeah, oh, it's the last tour. That means they're not do they're closing down. Nope, they're just moving uh, bigger and better places. But first, I got to thank somebody named Kevin Sis Trunk over here. I don't want to get his um, his information in there, but yep. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. So yeah, we got, uh, they got the, apparently uh, they're using me for mail, but yeah, from Panama, they have a Panama Barcade going on over there. So they got a classic arcade in Panama. He wanted to thank me for uh, the great videos that I've been doing. And we got to thank Marshall for having all these great games here for me to play and get videos of. Yeah, so check that out. Panama Arcade. So if you're in Panama, hey, you got a barcade. You can go play at the Panama Barcade. Very nice. So I'm going to go around and take a tour of all of the games. So we got um, this Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, multi-cade that they got in on a trade. Um, I think they said they were going to take out the uh, Pandora's box in there. So over here, once again, this is from, um, I think they're called Classic Arcades LLC with the license from Tato. And yes, it's ice cold beer. You didn't get to see it in the last video. Um, they also are going to make the more quote unquote family friendly game of Zeke's Peak, which is basically it's the same game, but you know, you know, not not beer themed. But once again, plays just like the original, has the tilt in it, so you don't uh, cheat the game on there. And uh, yeah, good times. So let's go show off the lineup. This is the final lineup here. So we got Gottlieb's Big Shot. Just got this one in. They're going to be fixing it up. Striker Extreme. Over here, one of the first uh, games when they stopped being Stern... When they stopped being Sega Pinball and became Stern Pinball. Got Swords of Fun, or Swords of Fury from Williams. No one over here. All Sanford's over here. Once again, Little Shop of Games. Got the Williams Multicade. The James Bond 60th Anniversary from Keith Elwin. Very, very nice. I'm going to show off one of my absolute favorite godly wedgeheads. It is none other than Volley. And this one is still running on original incandescent lights. So hopefully uh, once they get it all cleaned up and they uh, go through all the stuff, I'll uh, definitely be checking it out. So let's go through the lineup. We got James Bond Pro. It looks like that one that I took the video on um, sold because that one had um, some of the extra features on there, but this is a stock one, so we got James Bond Pro. We got Stranger Things Premium. I think they said uh, Stranger Things Pro came in, but I'm pretty sure it's sold. So, you know, Stranger Things, like I said, game took off like crazy. People love that game. We got Foo Fighters Premium Edition. Someone got 3.7 billion on that. Wowee. I think my highest is uh, 1.5. Once again, James Bond, this is the only, you only live twice, uh, premium edition, uh, previous owner put the, um, side art on there, and also that nice topper that they have, um, Avengers, Affinity Quest is a premium, uh, this thing felt brand new, it felt absolutely amazing, like, really, really good, and yes, you can see it, the new toy is here, we had, uh, two Jaws in here, so, uh, Jaws Pro is here, playing, uh, really good, I got to play it, um, in the tournament, got to play with a couple of folks over here, got played really good, got, the uh, Master Tech over there, Sam, all right, we got Elton John Platinum Edition. Thank God no one's playing it because I did not want to edit the video of the music because you know that'll get me in trouble. Toy Story 4 Limited, Willy Wonka Standard Edition from from our fine friends over at Jersey Jack. Really cool one. Up, oh, nope, it's on hold. NASCAR. Pat Waller's NASCAR. You don't get to see this one often. I always love this game when you uh, when you plunge the ball. The um, the ball goes around the track until it goes into the machine, so it doesn't really have like a skill shot on there, but it's really cool stuff. So it looks like they put, uh, previous owner put mirror blades on there. We got the Toy Story Collector's Edition, once again it has that cool firework topper 
on there in the bright cherry red cabinet. I think it also has extra voice dialogue from the actress that did Bo Peep. I apologize, I forget the name. Guns N' Roses LE is over here. The Godfather LE. Oktoberfest was uh, giving them some problems, so they uh, they shut it off for the night. So hopefully they'll get it back up and running. We got a Jurassic Park Premium. This uh, previous owner put some um, goodies on it from Lior, so from uh, Art of Pinball. As you, can, as you know, you can uh, check out Little Shop of Games website and you can get all that great stuff from Lior that he makes. This has some of the, um, like the helipad lets you know where everything is. And they even put on the improved T-Rex. I'll have to get a closer video of that, but it looks a lot better than the, um, than the standard one. It's kind of more smooth. He did a little uh, texture work on there, and I think he dry brushed it. It looked really nice. So we got Elvira's Blood Red Kiss Edition. Very nice, very beautiful game. It's got that side art on there. Everything in black and white. Once again, does have the color inserts. Got a Led Zeppelin Premium with all a whole bunch of uh, extra features on here. It's got like a, it's got a start button topper on there. It's got a really cool Led Zeppelin um, ticket theme thing on there. Got the uh, flipper caps on here. I like that it has like the uh, big Ben over there. Very nice. Got Mandalorian Premium, of course, with that topper on there. Mando Premium. Looks like it's got the side art on there as well. No other extras. It has a regular Grogu. I know a lot of people like to mod in the uh, moving Grogu. We got Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast Pro Edition and a Pro Edition of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And also a Pro Edition of Deadpool. And since no one is on it, let me go get a video of it. You can see they already shoved the pinball in his mouth, but yep, here it is, Jaws Pro! So once again, it's using that classic um, translate for it on there. So this one obviously does not have the extra tier play field, but I like it because we can actually see where the hell we're shooting. You can see it has like a spinner up there and it goes down the lane. It goes up, up on this side, and it feeds this ramp that goes up here. Now on that pre on the premium LE, it's got that extra orca play field not on here. And with this, the shark is coming out of the water. Sorry about uh, Doctor Who. Every time it's in multi ball, it's always the last game. We got that um, the, the reel on there. Very nice. Can't really see him. He's got the jaws on. Him. He's got the jowls, I should say. A little bit of the topper goes off and they... It's a soccer who they have to make the uh, Daleks really annoying. Looky, looky, we got Hooky. Fortunately, it uh, looks like it had a problem, so they took it down. High speed! This is a uh, really nice one, $4,000. Got LED'd out. Let's play it nice and fast. It's a, it's a Steve Ritchie. What did you... Oh, of course. It's got the roller on there. Ice Fever! They went through and did a full LED kit out on it. Very nice. Spin around. Still have Revenge from Mars here. Still Revenge from Mars. Let me... Looks like they didn't finish their game. Yeah, Pennant Fever, full LEDs. It's nice that you got this uh, finally up and running. Um, the bat on it, uh, when they got it in, was snapped off. What's really cool with this game, it has um, other games from Williams. So one of them, I think it's like Martian or Martin Marathon, I forget the name of it. It's this really weird game with like elves like running a marathon in a forest. It was a really s silly game. Um, not a lot of them are out there. I think, um, I know Fun Spot has one. I don't know if, um, if uh, Galloping, I think Galloping Ghost has one. It's a very weird game, very uncommon. They didn't make that many of them, so it was kind of a bomb. Uh, we got Space Mission. They did a beautiful job on this, but uh, still getting, uh, still working the finishing touches on it. And then once again, um, the Pinball Alley signs up there are on sale. You can get yourself a nice Pinball Alley sign. Um, overall, uh, first impressions on Jaws, really enjoying it. 
um, very, uh, you know, you know, kind of a fan layout on it, but um, has a lot of cool stuff to shoot for. Um, I forget the the lady's name that is doing the code on it. It's our first game, and she's really making it nice on there. Like it's got the bloody chum bucket, and as you can see um, in the center, he is chumming the water. And when you get the chum all the way up, that's when it'll say the harpoon's ready, and you can hook the shark right there. Harpoon ready. Let's see. One of the good things is you can get a ricochet off of the pop bumper cap into the shark on there, and that'll start your uh, multi ball on there. So, right there, that is a final tour of the little shop of games here. And there goes Marshall. That's the final tour here. So, they are moving. Um, it's not going to be too far away, only about like a five minute drive, so it still will be here in, uh, in Lutz, Florida, in the Tampa area, so um, like I told Marshall, I said, let me know once you're done, you go out there, get some video of the place, drive up the hype, they really don't need the help because, you know, pinball's insane, everybody loves the pinball, the game comes out for seven grand and they go, yes please, I'll take it. So there you go. Yeah. Final tour here at the Little Shop of Games. Once again, I am Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.